Hey guys, welcome back to another Creative Taff video. In today's video we're looking at photo restoration. So if you're anything like me, you really love old photos, but sometimes they can get damaged. So today's video is going to break down how we can take these damaged photos into Photoshop and restore them to their original glory. So let's do the intro and let's jump on into Photoshop. <laughs> Hi guys, um, in this video we're going to be restoring this old and damaged photo, so let's have a quick inspection. We've got some writing on the photo, we've got quite a bit of damage in here and in some detailed parts, like in the creases of his jumper or waistcoat, whatever it is. And you know, we've got quite a bit of damage, there's like a sort of few hairs up here writing along the top so we'll have to crop in. Um, so that's what we're going to do. now. What we want to start off by doing is do a little bit more in-depth analysis. So I've got my photo. I'm going to go to new adjustment layer and I'm going to just put our levels above like that. And if I just double click this, I can now, let's just drag this over from my other screen. I can now start, let's get rid of my histogram. I can now start using these levels to have a look at, to have a look at the damage to see what, if there's any more damage there, because this is a good thing to do. You can see as I push and pull this, some more damage by here starts coming through. So we can see is actually more damage than we thought by here. And yeah, up there as well. So you can see as I disable this, more damage comes through. Um, so let's bring that one down, turn it back on, and let's go the other way. So, well this, maybe this will show us a bit more. Um, no, I don't think that's showing us any more than we were aware of. So it's really important to check with the levels just like that to see if there is actually more damage there than we first thought. So let's delete that. What I'm going to do with my background image is I'm going to drag it down to the new layer icon and I've got a copy. So let's just call this um, dust and scratches. Okay. And let's, yeah, let's go in. So I'm gonna get this layer now, dust and scratches. I'm gonna to go to image, or there it is, sorry, filter, noise, and dust and scratches. And what you'll see is a little menu like this, and it'll kind of start as you increase the radius, blurring your image, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna just go up to something like, I think, I think round about two should be good. Yeah, just go to two, and Obviously, as we turn this on and off, the problem is we're losing, we're getting rid of some nice stuff by there, um, or some nasty stuff, sorry, but we're losing detail in the face. So, what we want to do is we want to duplicate our background layer again. And so, we've got dust and scratches on the top with this filter on. Then, we've got background copy, and then just another one by there called background. So, um, what I want to do now is get my dust and scratches layer, which has got that filter on it and I want to hit the layer mask icon and select that layer mask and hit Control i and it'll invert it. What you want to do then is just get a brush and paint white onto this layer mask, revealing that dust and scratches filter that we did. And we only want to reveal it in the areas where there's not a lot of detail like the background. So you'll see as I do this, you'll see that it, that dust and scratches filter comes through and we're revealing it. Now we don't want to do this on his face because again, we're just going to blur his face. So what you want to do is just work your mouse all the way through like this and paint out those areas where, where you can. You don't want to do too much on his jacket. Um, you'll just mainly want to do the background. So I'll time-lapse myself doing this now. Thank you. 
Okay, now earlier I mentioned that I wasn't going to do too much to the jacket with this dust and scratches. I actually ended up doing more than I planned because it wasn't sacrificing too much detail. You can see in here, in the creases, we still may managed to maintain the detail of those creases. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend um, the next part of this tutorial going through how we clean up the rest of it. So I'm going to get these two layers, dust and scratches and background copy. I'm going to hit Control E and it'll merge them together. So we turn it on and off, this is where we come from. I'm gonna call this photo pass one, because that's the first kind of like pass of the cleanup. I'm gonna bring it down to the new layer icon and duplicate it, and rename it to photo pass two, okay? I also now wanna think about cropping in, because I don't wanna end up restoring any of this damage out here. Well, it's not damage out there, that's the, that's the point. So I'm gonna get my crop tool, and I'm gonna come in like this, and I'm gonna crop that writing out at the top and I'm gonna come in by here just to crop out the sides and I'm gonna come in at the bottom as well to around about there, okay? And then I'm gonna hit enter. So that's gotten rid of quite a lot of the issues on the outside. And now I'm gonna start with this little stuff by here. So over on the left, you've got something called the spot healing brush tool and I'm gonna select that. And then with my photo pass two selected, I'm just gonna click on these areas where I wanna clean this stuff up. Um, what it'll do is you notice there, it's done it a little bit wrong. It'll s source the nearby pixels to paint over this. So, you know, there's a bit of guesswork sometimes. So what you'll wanna do is just go through, make a smaller brush, go through carefully, and just start painting out these bits. So um, again, what I'm gonna do is time-lapse myself using this specific tool. Okay, so a final few things I wanna do now is use the patch tool. I think it's called patch tool. Yeah, there it is, patch tool. I should know, because I do this work all the time. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use the patch tool by here, because what we've got is we've got some nasty sort of texture left over by here. And I was really lucky on this one because we've got somewhere to source from. So if I just click and drag around this nasty sort of texture bit by here, what I'm gonna do is click and drag over to his collar by here and source pixels from over there and just repatch that. Um, I'm gonna do it same by here and I'm gonna drag over to here. But if we didn't have that, we could easily just use, you know, part of his sleeve by here and it just does that. So don't think, it is lucky that we got two of them by here, but again, you got this bit, which I don't like. It's all sort of uneven. I can use a bit of his sleeve and see how that works. And there you go, it evens, it brings the texture across. It doesn't bring the exact pixels, but it brings the texture across from there. I'm also not a fan of what's going on here. So I'm just gonna come around his sleeve like that. And actually let's include all of that as well. That's a little bit haywire, but yeah, I'm gonna do this for the background. So just flatten out that background like that. And yeah, there and come around and grab that bit. Okay, so that's looking a lot better now. If I turn off photo pass two, this is what we've done in this little step. And if we turn them both off, this is how far we've come, so that's quite good. Now, what I wanna do now, I'm happy with that restoration, apart from actually, I don't like that at the bottom. So if we possibly, yeah, just pick this one over here, because it's nice and easy for us. Um, go like that. Bingo, and this one by here, I don't like the stuff there, so just round about by there. Okay, cool. What I wanna do now is, I still don't like this bright by there, something like that. Okay, what I wanna do now is I wanna sort of even this out. So first of all, I've got photo pass two, I'm happy. I'm actually gonna duplicate that again, call it um, final, Restoration, I probably spelled that wrong, haven't I? Yeah, final restoration, there we go. And what I wanna do now is open up my histogram. So if I go to window and histogram, you can see that the blacks aren't all the way over to the right and the whites could be stretched out a bit more. So I'm gonna put my histogram up there and you know, there's not 
the colours aren't sort of right. That it needs to be a bit more contrasty. So let's get the curves and let's do that with the curves. So let's pull my blacks across a touch, something like that, and same for my whites. Okie dokie, something like that. Yeah, I think I like that. And now let's have a look at the mid tones. So let's just get a little bit more um, in those mid tones. There we go. So if we turn that on and off, we're just putting more, punching a bit more contrast into that. So you can fiddle around with them as much as you want. And I think I'm going to leave mine round about by there. Yeah, I think that's looking a lot better. It's putting more detail into it. Um, maybe put the whites down a bit. Yeah. So that's our color correction done so we've now got this photo i think it's actually two photos together to be honest um it's the same person isn't it so we've got this photo now from here to here and we've restored it so i hope you guys found that tutorial useful and hopefully i'll see you in another one of my video tutorials